Hello everyone and welcome to a smash look at Hand of Fate Frazier as always and this is a game by Defiant Development and it's pretty awesome I might say. Now you may be wondering what is with all these floating cards in front of me. Well Hand of Fate is a tabletop card game where everything is pretty much brought to life before your eyes. Now what I might mean by that as you're probably sitting there going Fraz you're losing your marbles again. Well it's because at its heart you know it's a tabletop card game. But Yes, there's a big but in there. As you're traveling through, you know, progressing in this card game, as you come up against monsters and such, it sort of takes you into like an arena-based sort of fighting arena, and you become your hero, and it's kind of like up to you to sort of win or lose. It's, it's sort of like you're the critical part of the whole game. But there's obviously other aspects, like you've got health, you've got food as you're traveling, you and you've got other aspects that I hopefully will be shown in this video. Now I've played sort of through two sort of missions, you could say. Would have played the third one if I would stop dying. Now I'd probably either die on camera or not die. So you guys may be good luck for me, who knows. So how about we start? Bring all these cards down, shall we? Now, as you see you get controls, you get settings, you only have voice, music, ambience. As I will say now, before everybody starts screaming, going, ah, settings, it's actually a little sort of one of the wee menus pop up before the game starts. And it only allows you sort of resolution and then it's got sort of, you know, normal, fantastic, beautiful, those type of things. I don't quite like that, but the game's not going to be testing your system anytime soon. So let's just resume. Now, first up, you pick your bossy person you're going to be facing. I've defeated Jack of Dust and Jack of Bones, now it's the Queen of Dust, and so on and so forth. That's, you get the sort of four suites of your cards, and then you go on. So we'll select this, Queen of Dust. Challenges, free rocks fall, and free good fortune. Rule changes in combat, the player's movement speed is reduced by how much gold you possess. So you get stuff like that. Now if I head over to deck building, I do have it full. It's as you go through the game, each character, like every level, will allow you to put more equipment and more encounters in. And it's sort of like you're given your chance to select what stuff you come up against almost. It is still randomized. Do not waste my time. Excuse Perhaps me. Perhaps you're having trouble understanding how your pieces moved. Shush. If so, you will not progress far. I require far more from my opponents than mere competence. As you see here, this is my deck of equipment. You do get equipment cards that will pop up as you're playing through and it will allow you to sort of get new equipment as you go on. You kind of start off with your basics and whatnot, but we've got a Mortal Whimsy. Can I inspect this? What does this say? This card is new and thus its contents are unknown. Find this card during play and its secrets will be revealed. Okay, hey, get back in there. So right now I've got, you know, desperate measures. I've got a few axes. That seems new as well. I'm happy with that actually. So if I head over to encounters, you know, each red one will allow you to get, he's got a little pot of goodies, I'm going to say. When you actually complete this and then you complete the entire level, all these little coins will pop up and it will give you a new cards, new equipment Come and now. stuff like that. Oi. Do not waste my time. Perhaps you're having trouble understanding how your pieces moved. If so, you will not progress far. I require far more from my opponents than mere competence. Now guys, what I will actually mean to point out that I should have pointed out is this is an early access title on Steam. It is awesome, so you should go support it, just saying. So that's all the cards put into the one pile. I also like how this is done. It's really nice. It's really nicely animated. Bit freaky, as you're sitting in this cold and darkened room with a candle. So that's the decks, all piled up, all shuffled. This is our hero. Let us go. What we got? Field of Poppins. Great, gonna fall asleep. And it shovels, 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 shuffles the deck. Or the cards on the ground. The Crucible. Okay, opens a little pot. Get a little coin. And now if we survive this, we get that. Enter the Crucible. Okay, you choose your opponent. What do I want? Four dust, three of dust, two dust. Two of dust seems easy enough. 
this kind of refers to like two, three, four is literally the number of monsters you're gonna have to fight. It's pretty much what it comes down to. And I spawn with my axe. Now I am playing with controller just to point that out. It's been a lot easier with controller. Ow. Oh. I was playing with mouse and keyboard and the controls are a wee bit footy. With mouse and keyboard, definitely a wee bit footy when it comes to combat. You die this day. Ow, son of a... There we go, finished. Now the models, the 3D models were really, really, really nice. I must admit that. They were really nice. And graphics wise, it's quite a pretty game. You've got, oh dear. You survived that round, now do it again. I will go to skulls. And you get this eerie music going on. And then the nice sort of sound assets of in the wind, the fire, stuff like that. And really awesome music as you're partaking in battles. These guys have shields. Come at me. Come on. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, did I? Now, you might be thinking, oh, this is a little easy, I don't want to play this. Trust me, it gets a lot harder. There's times you have three monster cards played in the one round and you just get annihilated. And also, there's a jack of dust. Because once you defeat them, they kind of become part of the deck anyway. But you are obviously choosing that deck, so it depends what you want to do. And, oh, this is going to be bad. Nope. Nope. Now the only way to sort of dive out of the way, like, oh, the only way to sort of avoid stuff is to dive out of the way, but you do get shields, or hopefully we'll get shields during the missions. So you sit down this day, you sit down. Now anyone paying attention, I hope you are, I really hope you are, down in the left hand corner, yes a token is mine, you'll see good, good, okay screwed that one up, how about we try that one again, gold, food and health, obviously health is kinda, you get that one you know in battles and stuff might take it off, food is Come referred on. to, shush. Do not waste my time. Do I wish to go upstairs? No, I wish to. How your pieces moved. Wish to see what this is. So, ah, the maiden. Will not progress far. As for I long life, far more from my opponents than mere competence. And food refers to like every step you take uses up one food. Essentially, that's what it does. And you also recover five health for every step. Gold to use in shops. You can also, as you saw in the start of this one, though. Your end enemy will actually, the more gold you have, the slower you're going to move. The Winding Trail. Draw two monster cards, great. Oh no. This should be fun. But I really like how it's sort of a mix of RPG elements in a sense, you know, or... I don't want to say Spectable Go Fighter. Maybe, maybe, maybe. You died in, you know? Oh great, you have guns. This is not on. There's also element sort of environment traps. Ow. What the hell? Oh, you're resurrecting them, aren't you? Can stop him resurrecting them. Ow. Do you mind? Mm. 
No, you don't. No, you don't. There's some really interesting sort of characters. There's a lot of work being made and done into the 3D models. I really, really love that. I'm sure you'll make good use of that. I got a shield. What we? I'm 15 gold. Are you? River. See, there's things like this. It might be common to a lot of people who have played a lot of card games and different sort of things. I'm going to end up picking Skull Island. Typical. Typical. Thank you, game. Oh, dear. Ow. But you get certain things, like he's got a pile of monster cards, pain cards. There's also your coin you get, which allows you to get extra cards. Approach the shop. Greeting wide trader. We have much to offer. And this is where your gold kind of mainly comes in. Where you buy some goodies. You buy some food. You can buy recovering health. Usually in some. Remove curses. I have a curse on me. Money bags. Oh, oh you can actually remove that. Interesting. Also sell some items that don't really have much to sell. Heal your wounds, buy blessings. It's a lot of gold. Damn it. Oh well. But you can always come back to that. Just mind every step you take requires food. Rockfall. Wonderful. Great. Now I'll get a coin if I manage to get this. Oh dear. Knowing my luck, whenever I'm recording, I'm going to get the huge failure. No, I just get failure. Oh well. Ow. Ow. Can we... I have now no food. Can you... A sad way to end. I had such challenges prepared for you. Such be... is life. So you see, as I've run out of food now, now what's actually going to happen is my health's going to go down for every step I take. Game hates me. It doesn't want me to complete this. Buy food. I buy free food. Nope, that requires too much. Damn. And I don't really have anything to sell but my shield. Devil's corpse. Choice. Uh, that one. I should have paid attention more there. I would select the one you don't want to have in the fight. But guys, I really hope you've been enjoying what you've seen so far of Hand of Fate. I have, and I'm liking the twist on it. Now this is where... Now you've seen the green up here above them? See, when you have a shield, you can actually dodge them really nicely like that. Helps if you actually, you know, dodge. Ow. The only thing I'd probably like to see if monsters are sort of slightly closer together. It's like you can actually have a sort of swing attack that attacks them all. I may get that later on in the game though. Ow, that was careless. Sit down! Now I'll probably continue to play this until I possibly dry. Dry? Die! I have an axe. Gain 25 gold. Gain more gold. I could potentially go back and maybe reach that shop, or I'm probably going to die on it. Oh, man. I don't have any food. Take the coin away. Oh, well. The Queen of Dust. Wonderful. I get the Queen of Dust with 2 HP. This is going to go absolutely brilliant. Trust me, folks, this game is not easy in any sense, but it's so much fun. I've come up against Queen of Dust once before, twice before, actually, and she has, like, this arrow machine that shoots at you. I'm one hit and I'm dead. Run, run, run. 
And I have too much gold on me. Oh here. This is Down I go. Oh well. It was good while it lasted. But it's interesting it's interesting the amount of different equipment you can get. How it really all sort of evolves around everything in the game and also this looks fantastic. You also get a coin for anything you actually do get to keep. So activate that, see what we get. Good lovers, marketplace, Prince of Shadows, Noble Trader, a wife's fury and merchant favour. Nice. You have died. But basically, if we just click this, I can then go into my deck and you'll see that that's actually there. So it's like this. So it's a, it's an interesting sort of rogue element in a sense. It's like you'll fill that level but then you'll get some stuff to added to then help you change stuff. So I can change any of that equipment and then I can also change any of the encounters. And there's quite a few encounters we've got now. Well, I, want, I was interested in that one. This card is new and thus its contents are unknown. Eh, fine then, be that way. Anyway folks, I really hope you've enjoyed this episode of Smash Look at Hand of Fate. Oh, fine, I'll select you. You don't you want to be a pain. I certainly have. I'll be playing more. The link is always down below to the Steam page so you guys can go pick it up, look for more details and all that good stuff. Thank you again for watching this episode though. It has been a little while, please forgive me, but we're back on track. See you all next time.